a person who went to the super fundamentalist church in the 90s with me told me that they thought I was getting really carried away when I sometimes refer to it as a cult because that's not what they experienced. What he remembers is a Sunday morning tradition and pizza parties in the gymnasium. It made me think about how people can be in the same place, same time, but have wildly different experiences. I think I would say that my youth group in the 90s was a self-loathing cult. Lots of memories of teenagers standing up and crying and talking about how much they hate themselves. We had a lot of eating disorders. I was in denial about being gay. So, you know, if the self-loathing piece didn't really resonate with you, then you would have not even picked up on that part or experienced any of that trauma. There was also the hell element, which I think a lot of people say they believe that. It's like a thing you say in church, though. You don't think about it that much. But what if you think about it that much and you're really swept up into the self-loathing element? It raises the fear level and locks it in place. If I don't get this right, God will torture me forever. The fear is on 10. The self-loathing is on 10. It kind of locks you into it. So you put all that together and it's your own little private world of pain. But my friend didn't experience it that way. To them, it was just singing on Sunday morning and pizza. Do I still think it was a cult? Yes, it was an atmosphere of emotional manipulation led by power-hungry men. And if you broke the rules, you were ousted from the group or emotionally punished. It's a metaphor for all human experience, really, even outside of religious stuff. We're all here, same place, same time, wildly different experiences. I go back and forth on this. I don't know if I believe that empathy comes naturally to us. The capacity is obviously there, but it seems like if, we, if it's not taught and nurtured, it doesn't happen. But we can teach it. We can nurture it. And we can even inspire it and each other. It's so easy to go through an experience and only consider your own feelings, how you process the experience. I think a lot of people gave up in the last few years. I've heard people say there's no point in trying to appeal to a person's empathy when they don't have any. But I don't agree. I think the capacity is always there, even for people who are really far gone. Not to be overly dramatic about it, but I think empathy is like the answer to everything, or at least the beginning of the answer. Empathy is 